Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Golden Knight Randomizer. This is it. We're doing it in Water Caverns and Trevlin himself. This level, I don't remember ever being that bad. The only dumb thing is destroying the radio. The RCP-90, the ZMG, and I've got a pump action shotgun! I love that elevator music, man. Scientist with an AR-33 and a St. Petersburg guard hat. Interesting much. These doors are awesome too. I love that Iris opening. Iris, that's a song that is weird. The Goo Goo Dolls. When you consider the Goo Goo Dolls started out as a pretty punk band. If you go listen to their first two albums, it's crazy. And I'm loving this already. AR-33 is out there. Whatever. And the RCP-90. Go big or go home, as they say. Yeah, you're all dead, eater! Do, do, do. Very, 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 very subtle track, too. These guys are a little bit more padded than previous guards. Yes! This is two different ammo sets, too. So we're gonna have to switch back and forth between this gun and the RCP-90. Like, the two best guns in the game. That's one fault of this game, if you want to even consider it a fault, that uh, Perfect Dark improved upon, is that the multiplayer weapons layout you could customize. Alright, you guys get out of the way, because we have to minimize your casualties. What is happening? Yeah, I like the way you sidestep in my face. Get out of the way, please. Somebody's coming. There's more computers over here, and normally another scientist, so we gotta get him out of the way. Or no, it's a guard. He's dead? Hopefully that doesn't count as a scientist's death. I don't think it would. Whoa! Got lucky there. Whoa! That was close. Let's see what happens with the other guy's brake pads. That's James Bond. I remember you implementing that game shark code to have that outfit in multiplayer for, bo for both uh, Bond and Trevlin. Because as a kid, I was like, oh yeah, he, Trevlin's so cool when he's 006. Why did he have to go bad? <laughs> Where is he? I love this room. It's just this huge spiral. Great for testing out that beautiful speed strafing that only the N64 can do because it's the greatest console of all time. Nah, it's probably not. That's James Bond again. Not anymore. Yeah, this is how I move by default in every first-person shooter game. Even if all ones after Perfect Dark do not give you that unrealistic speed boost. Do, 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 do. David Doke's head on everybody. Alright, so what else do we have to do? We just, really it's that radio contacting Jack Wade. It's funny in the movie, too. Hey, Jimbo! <laughs> he just, like, pops up out of the bushes while he's trying to bang Natalia. Taking it nice and easy. We don't have any cheats to unlock. That's not the point. Because we know the RCP-90 is like the strongest gun in the game. The Magnum can be a beast as well, and AR-33s are pretty damage outputting, whatever. I like this stage. Man, these door noises, I never know if it's a door closing or opening. And these doors make all kinds of noises. <laughs> what are you trying to do, scientist? You think this sidestep is gonna fake me out? There's so many solid beats in this game to the music. Drop that weapon! Drop it, boy! There we go, thank you. Was it worth it? Probably not. I think I wasted just as much ammo as the gun gave me. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Look down the stairs and... Let's... Ah, I forget. We'll take care of this guy. Yeah, this is the wrong way. There's a certain way to go. On both the top and bottom paths. Wow, these guys have terrible eyesight. 
Again, that beautiful 90 degree angle thing where stuff only works in their eyes if you're right in their path. I approve. It adds fun to the experience rather than frustration. But what I was saying is you can approach these top and bottom paths differently so that you are always come up behind these guys and get them by surprise. This is fun, man. I love these weapons. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, not yet. Whoa, who's behind me? Close that door. Whoa. Maybe that was in the room? I could have sworn that was coming from behind me. Anyway, let's go to the ammo dump. It also has that really cool hidden path into the next computers we have to destroy. Yeah, there's crazy ammo in here, and I think it's ammo for this gun. Yes, it is. It's shared with the ZMG normally. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. So now... Nobody's coming. Who was shooting me? I guess he stayed in the room. But speaking of the room, this is that same room just coming in from the bottom. That's a more ammo. And a giant truck just went by. That usually gets picked up on my mic. I don't know. It's my apartment walls. More so the windows. They're so cheap. And there's a road right outside. So anything that goes by. And I happen to be recording at the start of a day. So everybody's doing their commute. Get out of here, pal. I saw a blue hat. Where are you? Is there more? There's the code card. Forgot about those. We need them to get to the central chamber where Alec is. What the heck? Where'd you come from? I thought I killed you already. Unless he's the guy that was inside and he came out to chase me and then got confused because I wasn't there anymore and he said, huh? How could this be? Watch out, there's an auto camera and this clown. Anybody else who's coming? This gun's noisy. Yep, I knew it. See? Isn't there an auto turret? Yes, there is. And now we gotta destroy those computers. Look out! Somebody else hides behind these lockers. I see his RCP-90. I keep wanting to say 120, because that's what it is in Perfect Arc, Magnum, P.I., James Bond, wannabe. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, that was a lot easier than I was anticipating. I remember this room being pretty fatal in the past. Death to you. And to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot this was like a little hidden mountain slope you could go down. There we go. And now I think there's another set of computers to destroy, and it's right next to a bunch of explosives and the radio. That's the biggest mission failure potential in here, as I keep restating for no reason. Is this... No, I'm going the wrong way. It doesn't matter. Oh, double kill. Look at that. Through your head and into his other head. His other head. <laughs> that made no sense. Now this guy's facing backwards. Excuse me. This level's actually a joke with how stupid these guys are. Well, this guy's wearing sunglasses because his future is so bright. Thinks he's so tough, yeah. It is kind of stupid that some things in life are purely a status symbol thing or like a... That's a scientist. I'm so used to it being a guard. Who sees me? Somebody down there saw me? How the heck? Oh yeah, we got this. But this is the room up ahead that I could easily botch up and have to restart the mission. Mishing. Mishing. Can I say that word? Mission. What was I saying though? Oh yeah, status symbol crap. Like, for example, nobody judges you on the toilet paper you buy. At least I would hope not. Cause that's kind of just like a personal thing like if you want to wipe your ass with uh cardboard you can or if you want to wipe it with fluffy soft teddy bears you can and nobody's really gonna judge you for it because that's like your own burden 
or not burden that you choose. You're dead and I'm running because somebody's shooting me. <sighs> but like what car you drive, people judge you on that. What kind of clothes you wear, people judge you. Grenade! <laughs> it's like worms, how they randomly shout stuff. The grenade was one of them. I forget what voice option that is though. On wor Man, worms is a game I would like to play. But it actually gets boring fast these days. I think it would be different if we were playing with real people. Like way back in the day when we had that kind of time and locality, proximity to friends, family. Actually, I really never played with anybody in my family. My cousins all led more realistic lives than playing video games. But this game, everybody knew this game. They were like, oh, you have Bond. He has Bond. And I'm like, no, it's called GoldenEye 007. <laughs> Stupid little kid. Here we go. Now, I think you can explode them after you complete the objective, and it doesn't matter, I hope. Because it's probably going to happen. Because destroying this... Triggers that. Isn't there body armor? I thought there was maybe not on double O agent. Can't open the door. Let me get that for you. Do 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 do. But yeah, my dad was like the only one who played with me. Growing up, we used to play all the Mario Brothers together. Um, Smash Brothers, I remember my dad was always Samus and he always did the same like strong kick forward A, not like smash forward, but just hold forward and press A. Like that was my dad's move. <laughs> and was, I used to beat him so bad that he just didn't want to play this game. Oh jeez. I think I got most of them actually, because this gun's monster. Um what? No, 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 you're not screwing this up. No! That was brutal, man. Close this door. Close that door. Open that door. Kill that guy! I love this weapon so much. It's saving me. Close the door. Shut the door. Keep out the devil. Swing chariot! I don't even know what that's from. It's from something. Who opened... Who are you? Show yourself! Oh, there you are. Not anymore. Do, do, do. Um, I was saying something. Oh, yeah, just who I used to play games with. It was all my friends, man. I remember renting the N64 before I owned it. You used to be able to rent it in, like, this big suitcase in it with, like, one game or something. Now, those were the days, man, just calling your friends up on the weekend be like, you want to sleep over? I got the N64. And you'd be like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it sound like a, I live amongst retards, of which I am the king. Is that it? Did we do it? Like I said, this level's pretty straightforward. Somebody's coming, unless that's the door closing again. Time for that elevator music. Wow, James Bond's head looks terrible. I don't remember it looking that bad. He looks like a mixture of, like, Asian and Pierce Brosnan. Uh, too slow. Here we go. The most replayed level out of all of them. I love this level, man. It's my childhood all in one. Outstanding music, too, especially when the drums kick in. Throwing knives? How's that gonna help? But I got the... Oh, I forgot how the music comes in. I was gonna sing along like an idiot. Oh, I lost it. I was dancing along with a target on screen. Come on, buddy. I know you can't see me, right? Because I'm not directly in front of your face, but now... You missed! How do you not aim down like a maroon? Really? One knife? I was expecting that to take multiple. Wait, does he have a, They have ZMGs. This is not randomized at all, except for the knives I started with. Really, this game has been very minorly randomized. Except for the train. The train was brutal. Somebody's right there! Get the doubles and go! 
No, don't do the walking animation, dude. That thing is surefire death. All right, we got this. This is just classic cradle here. Wow, I suck. But we're not going to continue to suck because, as I said, I've replayed this mission more than any other mission in this game. Terribly. Dude, I'm not trying. I tried to shuffle. Ah, I'm out of ammo. No, I'm not. I picked something up just now. You're dead. Now, I was trying to cycle through my weapons backwards and I kept firing. I wasted a ton of ammo unintentionally. Alright, dude, get it together. You're dead. This level is not hard at all, regardless of the fact that it's double O agent. You just gotta be quick and ready. Alright, let's do it. I heard the grenade. You know what? Let's go the path less traveled. Normally I chase him because you can speed straight faster than him and it's fun to race him to the other side. Oh, Alright, you know what? Nice shot, dude. I'm, I'm honestly shocked. Yeah. I actually like these throwing knives. Hey, buddy. Actually, what am I doing? Who's shooting me? Stop it. Dude, body armor. Thank God it's here. Alright, let's... You. Ammo I forgot to pick up. Alright, back to the way we normally play. You sicken me. What a sentence. What a thing to say to somebody. Of course, anybody who's not a cool villain, it would sound stupid. Like, oh yeah, you're sound trying to sound so tough. Say words like sicken. No. <laughs> I have way too many qualifications in life. Very judgmental things. I don't know. Ah, what? You and your invincibility type body armor. Alright, come on, you infinite surplus of guards. Alright, we'll get this guy. Why not? And now the other one surely has decided to come down. Yep, and there's more. I'm trying to get to my former best friend here. <laughs> Supposedly, weren't they friends? Psh. He says, like, I trusted you, Grenade! Oh, I'm so lucky. Actually, I kind of thought I was okay. Alright, I'm not chasing him. Go time, let's do it! I'm gonna beat him to the thing. Now the question is, do we get the cool animation where he actually falls off, or is he just going to fall flat on the platform, and we don't get that cool cutscene. The two-angle Trevlin death. Please no guards to shoot me off the platform. Aw, oh, we didn't get it, dang it. Keep strafing, nobody shoot me off the platform, please. Alright, we did it. Pretty straightforward cradle, man, but I love that mission. Well, there you go. Well, we still have Aztec and Egyptian now. The f Aztec is brutal. What? That's Mayday. Um, where's Natalia? <laughs> Look at he's like not even. She's so much taller than him. He's like, yeah, let me. Eat. Motorboat, this purple woman. I know she's supposed to be black, but... Man, listen to those drums! It's like a double bass drum kick in there. This game has outstanding music all around. David Doke. Duncan Botwood, that's such a cool name. B. Jones, that's a chick. She also did the voice of Cassandra DeVries in, uh... Perfect Dark. Graham Norgate and Grant Kirkwood. Robin Beanland, elevator music by Robin Beanland. And they are great tracks indeed. Those drums, man, they're so amazing. 
I almost feel like I could edit this and like make it pop a little more than its compressed self. Ben Smith. The Q Branch. Mr. Fakuda. I remember you could unlock him in like NBA hang time or whatever. Filmed in Nintendo Vision. <laughs> That's awesome. James Bond will return, and indeed he did. <laughs> I can't believe he's making out with Mayday, dude. The actors. Get ready for the bass roll. Simonova, that's what it is. Mm, that's so awesome. Valentin's face, he's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> ah, yes, the multiplayer cast that you unlock. Siberian Special Forces was my go-to. It was either, well, actually, I played as Traveling in multiplayer. And the, the male scientist sometimes. And Siberian Special Forces, probably second most to Traveling. And I always like how the music gets to its crazy part as soon as this character shows up. Yeah, I don't know, man. As far as the randomizer, though, this was a lot of fun to replay this game. I almost want to do it again. I think there's an option to, like, even make it more random, because there was no boss characters thrown in. I've watched somebody else where Odd Job was just, like, he was in the damn level. He was... There was another level. He just randomly appeared. It's coming up. Here comes the music. Get ready. Siberian Special Forces. <laughs> I don't know why I always like that. What? I thought there was more characters than that. Why did it cut off? Aztec, oh, that level's brutal. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> 